Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the IROC series presented by More Freedom Trucking. Today we have traveled to Milwaukee for IROC Milwaukee. This is going to be race number three in the IROC series season three. And with just a couple of races down, let's go through those points. Your points leader is the 07 of Douchebag, and second will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Third will be the 96 of Nico. Fourth will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Fifth will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Sixth will be the 25 of JTM. Seventh will be the 49 of Jetman. Eighth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. And tied for ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos and the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. So that's a look at your points for the IROC series. There aren't any team or chassis standings. These are all identical cars. These are all Dodge Vipers. Um, all set up the same and everything like that. And we're getting a little bit of crowd in here for the IROC race, but I think it's about time. So let's go racing. Let's go through your starting top 10 today for this IROC Milwaukee. Starting on the pole will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. And on her outside, the three of Geek Girl Games. Starting third will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And on his outside, the 23 of Fuller Than You. Starting fifth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. And on his outside, the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Starting seventh will be the 96 of Nico. And on his outside, the 25 of JTM. Starting ninth will be the 49 of Jet Jetman. And rounding out your field will be the 07 of Douchebaggins. So DB is starting out there in 10th position, your, your points leader. We're going to see what he can do today. But an all-lady front row for G3 Motorsports. Uh, they are teammates in the More Freedom Series. G3, the car owner over there. As Ice Cream is going to be trying to get a great jump here today on that three of Geek Girl games. Low line is technically the preferred line here at Milwaukee. But it's going to be very close as the green flag is out and we are underway. So Ice Cream does get a little, it does get that jump on the three of Geek Girl Games. That's going to allow the 40 of Veteran Chaos to get down to her inside as Ice Cream is pulling away. Vet down to the inside of G3 as they head into three and four. So Vet is trying to go from a third to second here at the start of this race as Ice Cream going to be your leader on lap number one. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top, even though the entirety of, because there's only 10 drivers, so you'll see them all on the left-hand side here in the IROC series. So Vet is trying to take away second position from the three of Geek Girl Games. He is going to be in second as of the last lap and this one he is going to get i thought he was going to have a full car length there but that's going to allow the 13 of king of the aces to work underneath the 13 or the three as king is not able to get around the three of geek girl games the 23 of folder than you as teammates in the more freedom series almost underneath him coda the car owner for Ace, one of the co-car owners for aces the zed motorsports as we do see the three of Geek Girl Games and the 23 of Older Than You doing a crossover, kind of a crossover move there. So G3 now down to the inside of the 40 of Veteran Chaos. That's going to allow the 356 of Ice Cream some days to get a heck of a lead right now as she's up about a half a second. But Vet able to power it un over around G3 and keep that second position at the same with. The 23 of, or the 13 as Fuller is trying to work underneath here. The 96 of Nico seems kind of content to ride the high line right now as he is kind of behind the 13 of King of the Aces. So King is get that little bit of draft help from the 96 of Nico, but they both drop down to the bottom of the track. I think you'll see Nico do that same thing as they come off the turn. So even though the low line is the preferred line as we see the 07 working underneath the 329 right here even though the low line is the preferred line here at Milwaukee they are very very close between the low and the high line and so you're going to need a little bit of draft help from get some people stacked up behind you to get around the car in front of you so it can make for some very interesting racing as we move along in this race. 
Again, four, hopefully 40 laps of green flag action here today. Looks like most everybody is single file except for the 07 and the 25 trying to work underneath the 329 of heck of a Dubiter. So DB, who current, again, currently running first in points, uh, is kind of holding up the 25, I think. Uh, you know, hold up the 25, let the 329, you know, hang around because their teammates in the more freedom series db being the car owner of that 329 effect of a duber duber came over to douche motorsports last season uh after folding uh duber racing i believe it was so duber racing closed up shops merged all their stuff with douche motorsports and you know as you saw last season uh, Duber had a fantastic year with them, and he is tr he is definitely trying to move up in the standings this season. Uh, it's been a rough rough go in year number two for Douche Motorsports for heck of a Duber. But we see the 40 of Veteran Chaos here in the Iron Rock Series starting to catch up to the 329 of or the 35 356 of Ice Cream some days. What was about a half a second to like eight tenths of a second is now down to three tenths of a second now between the 40 and the 356. G3 not letting that veteran chaos get away from her right away as we check in back through this field. We'll see what was going on. It looks like 25 now underneath that 329 of heck of a duber. So if they can get single file here, they'll be able to catch up to that 07 of douche baggins. as they battle for the last position here in the IROC series. And we do see the 40 of Veteran Chaos now almost to the back bumper of the 356 of Ice Cream some days. So Ice Cream is, you can see her just dropping down to the inside of that line a little bit, trying to break that draft. And so basically if Vet's going to go around her, he's going to have to try to do it on the outside if we watch this. So he's coming into three and four here. He's right to her back bumper. Off of, th off of four, you'll see her drop down a little bit to the inside, pull back in front as there is that crossover move between the 40 and the 356. So if you watch these drivers, they are trying to do that and trying to break that draft, but it doesn't always help them out here as that was a very close, uh, that could have been an almost a pass for the lead as G3 kind of went with her teammate, the 356 of Ice Cream some days. As we see Vet trying to get down to the inside, here comes the three of Geek Girl game. She is now low line right there in front of the 13 of King of the Aces. The 96 of Nico trying to get underneath the, the 23 of Foley the Neal. So G3 giving a little bit of a help, giving a little bit of help to the 356 of ice cream some days to keep her in the lead here in I Rock Milwaukee. Watch that 96 drop down to the inside of the 13 at King of the Aces right there behind the the 23. We're going to see if the 49 goes with him as well. He's going to almost bump into his teammate. So good good spotter communication right there to allow the 96 not to wreck into his teammate as G3 again right to the back bumper of the 40 of Veteran Chaos so fuller than you down to the inside of the 13 it looks like the 49 and the 96 are going to line up there so with that line of cars that might allow the 23 of fuller than you to get around the 13 of King of the Aces as Nico still sticking it to the bottom of the track Jetman sliding up a little bit through the turn So we do see Fuller take away that position from the 13 of King of the Aces, checking up on the front. Still three-car battle right here for the front as the 96 of Nico now underneath the 13 of King of the Aces. We're going to see if Jetman goes with him as Nico's going to have to stay down to the bottom of the track right here. King of the Aces able to slide down in front of him as we're going to check in on the back of the pack as JTM finally able to get around the 329 of heck of a duber. So Ice Cream still with your, the lead here on a lap number 17. Almost to halfway here at Milwaukee as Ice Cream leads Vet in second and G3 in third. Coincidentally, her number is number three. 
So Ice Cream continues to lead here as the three, basically a three-car breakaway right now. So they're up to by about seven-tenths of a second over the fourth position, which is the 23 of Fuller Than You. These cars are now in a line as well. So hopefully with these four cars lined up and possibly the fifth, with that 07 of Douche Baggins now to the almost to the back bumper of the 90 the 49 of Jetman. That could give them a great drafting line to catch up to your front runners as they're basically almost running the same speed on their laps. Ice Cream actually had uh, two tenths of a second faster lap as we see the 40 of Veteran Chaos down to the inside of the 356. But that help by the three of Geek Girl Games is going to allow the 356 to continue to lead here today at Milwaukee as we do cross the halfway path and Ice Cream Some Days is your leader here at halfway. So she is currently in line for the pole position bonus, lap led bonus, and the halfway bonus. If she leads one more lap here today, she will have led the most laps. So she will end up with 20 bonus points, which I mean, 20 bonus points in this series is a huge deal. So that'll put her up to, in just bonus points, 208 po or 218 points. And if she can get this win, that will be even, an even bigger deal as Vet currently tied with her for the ninth position in points. Uh, 90, almost 90 points, uh, actually 83, 87 points behind, eight, no, eight, 80 some odd points 83 or 87 points behind your leader the 07 in points your leader in points so we see ice cream just trucking along here with about half the race to go as we see the 23 of fuller than you is now caught up to the three of geek girl games 07 of douchebag is now basically caught up to the 49 of Jetman. And we're going to see if Duber and JTM can work together here to catch up to the rest of the pack as they're down by about 1.3 seconds right now. So all these drivers probably just biding their time, saving their tires. Let, let ice cream just drive and oh, nope. Spoke too soon as a 40 vet. Oh, goodness. Vet with a little bit of tap right there on the left rear of the 356 of Ice Cream some days. We're going to see if that allows him to get that run that he needs. It's not. Ice Cream able to power around the outside, but that's going to do some damage to her teammate. The three of Geek Girl Games, she may not be able to get down in front of the 23 of Foley the New. She might lose third position here today. So G3 currently running fifth in points this season after two races, two of eight. As the 23 of Fuller than you, not able to make that pass, but now with Fuller, G3, the 96 and the 49 kind of lined up here. That's going to allow the 96 of Nico possibly to gain another position as he currently runs third in points. He definitely needs to get around that 13 to King of the Aces. He is currently 36 points behind King. So Nico is going to definitely need some help behind him to get around that 13 of King of the Aces as we do see still a battle for the lead here between the 356 and the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Again, very short, you know, very short season for this IROC series, only eight races. About every five weeks during the More Freedom series, there's a little bit of a gap in there, but I think one is like six weeks. But yeah, so Ice Cream doing her best to, like I said, every point counts in both series, IROC and More Freedom series. 20 bonus points right now for the 356, and that 20 bonus points and race number eight could be the difference between a championship or a second place. So we saw that a lot last year in the More Freedom Series where if Nico had got just those few extra bonus points, he had that terrible end to his season last year, 
And if he had gotten those few extra bonus points, it may have put him into the the championship. But as it was, those wins by G3, she had, I believe, four wins, three or four wins last season. And absolutely, those wins, bonus points, were what catapulted her to the championship over the 329 of Heck of a Duber and Nico. So... Every little point counts as it is too wide racing between the 49 and the 07. So Jetman, who runs seventh in points, is able to possibly get to stay in that position. As we see the 356 break in the draft just a little bit. And again, you have to be careful because G3 is going to slide up behind the 40 of Veteran Chaos off the turn, and that could give him just enough oomph to get around or get underneath Ice Cream when she tries to break that draft. So about eight laps to go here in the more in the IROC series. We do see Vet with a great run off of three and four. So with a great run off of four, the 40 of Veteran Chaos trying to lead here for the first time in the IROC series. Watching this battle, I don't think he's gonna be able to do it again, but that's gonna allow that 23 of Fuller than you to try. His hardest to get around the three of Geek Girl Games, so Fuller is trying to take advantage here and get underneath that three of Geek Girl Games. He is definitely able to get underneath her. Question is, is can he pass her as those tires here at the end of this run with six laps to go are definitely going to be wearing out as we now see help by the 96 of Nico for that 23 of Fuller than you. So Fuller is going to have a bit of a help here by the 96 of Nico, but also King is going to have some help. Is going to be giving G3 that little bit of that help as we check in back here as... Status quo right now, the 49, the 07, and the 25 running in line. This two wide action here between these four cars is going to allow that second pack to catch up to them. Checking in on your leader, still the 356 of Ice Cream some days with just a handful of laps to go here at Milwaukee. She's led wire to wire so far, and I know that she is trying to lead every single lap here today at Milwaukee as Nico cuts off that 13 at King of the Aces. He's going to slide up there with a three of Geek Girl Games. Maybe he thinks he can get a better run on the outside with draft help to her. Make sure we keep an eye on that lead battle as we see this battle for the third position between G3, Fuller, th King of the Aces, and Nico as now the 49 of Jetman is about ready to throw his hat into the ring here. So just a cut, three or four laps to go here at Milwaukee for the 356 of Ice Cream some days. She's in a dogfight with the 40 of Veteran Chaos for the lead of this race. They put up 1.2 seconds over the third place car with them driving wheel to wheel here. As we now see, we're gonna, I, was, I was thought we would see that 96 try to drop down to the inside. He does not try to drop down to the inside. We've got a few cars lined up on the outside right there as we do see the 96 finally get down or get behind the 13 of King of the Aces. So one lap to go here at, one lap to go here at Milwaukee. It's gonna be a dog fight to the end. Vet saving his car for this last lap. He's down to the inside of the 356 of Ice Cream some days. Ice Cream might have him off the turn. She does, we're gonna see if he can get to her back bumper here through three and four. It looks like that last ditch effort doesn't pay off for the 40 of Veteran Chaos. It's gonna be Ice Cream Sunday's day here today at Milwaukee. She's gonna win. I rock Milwaukee. Flag to flag for the 356 of Ice Cream Sunday. She is your winner here today. Let's go through your finishing order. 
Again, your winner is the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Second place will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Third will be the 23 of Forward Than You. Fourth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Fifth will be the third. Or sorry, yeah. Sixth will be the 96 of Nico. Seventh will be the 07 of Douchebaggins. Eighth will be the 49 of Jetman. Ninth will be the 25 of JTM. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So. Vet tried to make it an exciting end right there at the end of this race and almost, almost got him or got the lead there, just not able to power off the turn. Uh, Ice Cream definitely had an awesome race here today. But next, not next week, next time you'll see this IROC series will be on June 10th for IROC Nashville. So that should be an amazing race. No, uh, we'll check in on your points standings. We'll see what that looks like. Again, congratulations today to the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. She is your winner today for IROC Milwaukee. And until Friday, back here in the More Freedom Series, take care. <laughs>